Yeah, so like, I've been looking for original beats on YouTube, just browsing through producers' pages and shit, because, you know, I need some beats to rap over, and I'm noticing that underneath all these beats, guys are putting uh, their, their raps, links to their SoundCloud raps on the, uh, in the comments, and, um... 90% of these raps still have the tags on the beats, which means that you're not paying for the beat. Which, I mean, it's not a big deal to me, personally, because, I mean, you might be stealing the producer's work, but he's stealing the samples, so, like, I don't... Why the fuck, you know, if you have no money, why would you pay this clown, right? But, I mean, it's one thing if you have no money and you're doing it, but if you're rapping about Louboutins, and you're rapping about, you know, your new whip or whatever kind of expensive liquor you're popping at the club, and you're telling me you can't pay $30 for a, a fucking beat with no tag on it, I mean, there's one of two things happening here. Um, the first most likely thing is that you're lying, which is, you know, it's all right, but you got to be a little bit less obvious. And the second is that your priorities are fucked up because, I mean, you're rapping about how rich you are. And if you're really living this life, I mean, you'd think you could pay $30 for a good sounding MP3 and, you know, not to skip the fucking tags that are placed there to be awkward. So, I mean, like, fucking get your priorities straight, you know what I'm saying? Step up or step out. Shit. So like shouts out. Um, I just want to shout out my boy Amito, who made this beat. Um, and I paid him for it, so he doesn't have any tags on it. So I thought I'd give him a shout out. It's called Hose on My Jockstrap. <laughs>